Bike Ride Nation. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So, we are going to do something a little bit different, kind of, sort of, but not really, but kind of, than what we normally do. Right, so we always get asked, like, what our favorite trails are, where our favorite place to go is, or places to go, and really, there's one place that always stands out, we come back every year, and we always spend time here, and it never gets old. It might not be, like, our number one, if we sat down and think about it for a long, hard while, because the trails here, for us at least, and for our rig, aren't necessarily challenging, but in terms of beauty, and just absolutely breathtaking views, never, it never gets old. Like, the wonder of this place never gets old. And we've been here half a dozen plus times in just the last couple of years. Yeah, I mean, the, like she said, the beauty, the wonder, never gets old. It's, it's kind of like waking up next to my wife here every morning. It never... Morning, morning. <laughs> that was actually really sweet. I'm not mad about that statement, but, and I have it on camera. <laughs> so, so the thing is, is there, there's a couple little challenging things, but going off-roading isn't always just about challenging. It's about the people you're with and the experiences, and just the, 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 the feel here is just so wonderful. And we actually came here this time uh, for a vacation from the vacation that is our life. <laughs> just Kevin and I, although we didn't realize that there is a Jeep event this week, <laughs> yeah. we arrived. But it's fine, we've met a lot of people, a lot of fans in the last couple days, and we weren't planning on filming a video because it's supposed to be kind of a relaxing vacation, but I, I just can't help it. We've done videos here before, and this time I wanted to do something a little bit different, and this isn't gonna be less about the wheeling and just more about the views and kind of a, a travel vlog sort of thing for us yeah. to prove to you guys that if this isn't on your bucket list, it absolutely needs to be. Yeah, no, you have to come here. If you're going on a vacation, you're not sure where to go, You, this is where you, what, let's just tell them. We're dragging this on. Yeah, so where are we? We're in Colorado in Ure Telluride area, the San Juans, and this is absolutely an iconic wheeling location. Yeah, and they don't call this the Switzerland of America for nothing. Yeah. It literally, like, we, you know, we just went to Europe. Went We've to been to Switzerland. We've been to Switzerland. <laughs> I mean, it's a different kind, like, it, it, but it, it's there. It's like, it's just, so... It's just as beautiful. It really is. Just in, a, in, in kind of a different way, but not... I, I, you just have to come here. Like, every time I come here, I feel like a different person. I feel, like, alive and just so happy and just... I don't know, and you hear people talking, especially people that have been here for the first time, and people like found their new most favorite destination in the yeah. world. Usually Moab is a lot of people's go-to. Today we're gonna show you that this needs to be on your list as well if you're ever wheeling in the area, if you're ever in Colorado, even if it's just to drive through, not even to hit any of the trails, which by the way, I think there's five Jeep Badge of Honor trails. There's a ton of iconic areas, a ton of beautiful sights, even if you're just driving through, it's absolutely worth the detour. So sit back, relax. Today we're hitting Black Bear Pass all the way into Telluride. And then from Telluride, we're gonna hit Ivan King Pass all the way back into Ure. And I just wanna show you the views. afraid of heights. There are a lot of shelf roads and a lot of drop-offs and if you are not paying attention the consequences can be deadly. So it's absolutely a trail where you need to be focused on where your wheels are being placed because if you don't it's a long way down. So if you want to look at the views because they are absolutely breathtaking especially if you're driving come to a complete stop. Admire the view keep rolling when you're ready to look at the trail again but we finally made it to the most iconic part of this trail which is the switchbacks which lead you nearly straight down into telluride and again it's one of those things where just you'll be fine if you're paying attention
Now also keep in mind that the weather can play a vital role on the difficulty level of any of the trails in this area, especially on Black Bear while you're going down these switchbacks. If it's raining, if it's snowing, the trail gets a lot slippier and you absolutely want to keep an eye out for rock slides, mud slides, stuff like that. It's happened in the past and it's just something to be aware of. If you're new to this, if you're new to off-roading, or again, if you're afraid of heights or you're intimidated, maybe make sure that you go on a day where the weather is a little bit nicer. standing on that side to make sure you don't go too far but basically pull forward back up and you make it a three point four point five point six point twenty point turn whatever you need to do to comfortably and safely make that sharp turn all the way down too that you watch out for stuff like that as you're coming around again just make sure if you're uncomfortable or you're not sure you have someone outside of the vehicle spotting you through making sure that you're not getting too close to this edge here because again it is a very very long way down So once we make it down into Telluride, there are a ton of awesome shops, tons of food, great pizza joints. You can go, actually there's a there's a little trail near the river that you can walk up and down. It's super beautiful and even the gondola ride. There's a gondola ride that takes you up to another side of the mountain, which is super cool. Which is probably actually part of the ski resort. And I think somebody even said they have like downhill biking if you're into that kind of crazy stuff. Going uh, down a ski slope on a on a on a bicycle yeah. uh, but you can take the gondola ride up and uh, really just everywhere here is super beautiful but basically take the time explore enjoy the town before you make it back over the mountain back into your which is what we're about to do and we're taking ima jeans back out right what's super cool is right as we're about to get on the trail it's slowly starting to rain which should make this really interesting and you'll see why as we show you more of this trail Yeah. 
super cool on Imogene. If you look closely, you can actually see the switchbacks on Black Bear Pass that we just came down earlier today, which is pretty cool. already and it's it's just super beautiful like there's no reason to skip it at that point honestly because you're basically yeah you just kind of cut off it's it only adds maybe another 20 30 minutes depending on how fast you're going but it's definitely worth it again every trail here it's, has yeah, amazing it's, views so it's a dead end so you'll come up you'll dead end yeah they, you know and then you come right stuff, back and down and then down. back into your eyes what i like laying on the beach with sunlight in my eyes Laughing with my friends under the sky Following our hearts, so then we take a ride Wherever, I always try to let my spirit fly Fly away That's the only way to get that high High Always If you look at the trouble So if you're wondering how we're finding all these trails and finding information about them, we actually just started using Onyx Off-Road. So we've used, I don't know, we have like seven, we have a Venza and Gaia and some ski slope app for off-roading. I don't know, but it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt because there's so many and none of them have all the information. So we've been scouring, been looking, and we finally were talking to Onyx Off-Road and we had no idea how intricate of a trail system they had on their map. It's literally the entire, everything across the United States and they're always adding more. So this is what we're using right now, getting ourselves familiar with it. And it's working out pretty good. I'll kind of show you the screen real quick. So today we're gonna to be doing Poughkeepsie Gulch and Engineer Pass. So I just started typing in Poughkeepsie. I didn't really even know how to spell it. I typed in P-O-U and look, it came up right there. So I click on it and boom. So technical rating, seven out of 10, total time one hour. And it gives you kind of everything on here. You can click on it and get even more information, overview and everything like that. Now what's also cool is you can hit 
nearby trails and it shows you a bunch of other trails and there is engineer pass as well so i can click on that and that gives you okay so that's a three hour time distance 20.6 miles and it gives you all the information there so it's pretty neat because it gives you it gives you your elevation changes and everything like that as well so you can plan out fuel if you need to technical rating four out of ten and it will tell you about it there's some photos and it goes over the, the rating and why it is what it is and how to get there so this is what we're doing today i wanted to really show you this as well so these are all the trail systems in the area and so you can literally just zoom out and go oh i want to go from where we're at now and make it all the way down to durango and take as many trails as i can and you can literally figure that out all on your own which is pretty freaking neat so that's what we're using now we're testing it out and seeing how we like it but so far i do love it um one thing you do have to make sure of is that you have to download your offline maps ahead of time and then once you lose service to be able to use that you actually have to click here and go to go offline and that will go in and go to your downloaded map so i've already downloaded everything i don't have to have i've, I've downloaded the whole area see right there see all those squares so all those squares are the area that I've downloaded because that's where we're playing around in this week. So once you lose service, you won't have maps anymore if you didn't pre-download the area. So that's a good idea to do right there. So just five minutes south of Ure on 550 is the Alpine Loop, which consists of a ton of just absolutely beautiful trails. Again, everything in this area is beautiful, but we really love this one because two of the trails it includes is an engineer pass, and Poughkeepsie Gulch, which both, again, are cheap bags of honor trails. And those are the two that we're doing today. because there was avalanche debris and still ice and snow back. And they were still trying to clear it and make it safe. Yeah, and, and people yeah. literally cut the lock to the gate, came on here, went around through the Alpine like tundra and, and made illegal bypasses while damaging the trail. And we did a video on that. It made us very, it made everybody very mad. Um, and so it stayed closed even longer because of that. But it's finally open. So our first time. So we're gonna be able to do it for the very first time. And Poughkeepsie Gulch is known to be at least the hardest Jeep badge of honor trail, if not one of the hardest trails in this area. So they say, and but, so they think, say, but it's just one rock wall. That's in reference though to like a stock Jeep. If you have a stock Wrangler, it is a difficult trail because there is an actual obstacle on this trail and we will show you that. Driving off road is prohibited, so clearly we should. Clearly, we should not be here. We should. No, I'm just kidding. It just means stay the trail. <laughs>
Tony just bump up it? Obviously, it's really slick, so I'll just use the hennies. <laughs> so there's a ton of different lines here to choose from. You can go far left, you can kind of go up this way. Up that side. This is the easiest looking line. But the problem is, is that as your driver tire climbs here, it's going to lean you into this. So if you don't have doors, you don't have windows. Like this guy no longer has windows. There's glass all in here because people try going this way, they slide and. So definitely keep weather in mind if you're doing Poughkeepsie and you're going up the wall. Three out of the four rigs behind us had to winch up. So. It definitely, when it's rainy, it is slick slick. Have a winch. Oh yes, absolutely. You can't make it up, like, I mean. I mean, you can. You've got to send it. You're either going to break something. If it's gonna, wet. You're either going to make, no, even if it's not wet, that is slick. But I'm telling you, if it was dry, it'd be way uh, yeah. more doable. Yes, but have a winch, because either you're going to, yep. you're either going to make it, you're going to break something, or you're going to flip. Or you're going to winch up. Well, yeah, that's why I said have a winch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. over to Engineer Pass via California Pass from Poughkeepsie Gulch. And as you can see, it has started raining slash hailing. Super teeny, 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 tiny little guys for now. Hopefully they stay tiny. Like, hopefully they stay tiny, but we are at a super high elevation and the weather can be extremely temperamental. Yeah, it so changes fast. It changes fast, change, change real as you can get see, quick. But yeah, definitely make sure that you check the weather before you go on any trails, just in case does show inclement weather if you're staying within your comfort zone. Alright, so we've made it back over to Engineer Pass. Now to get up to the top, there are some somewhat narrow shelf road switchbacks. So you definitely have to pay very close attention up ahead of you to see who's coming down, who's coming up either direction to make sure that you're pulling off or you're waiting at the top or the bottom for people to come down or up. That way, because passing on the switchback themselves is not always easy or possible. Yeah, we just talked to a ranger a minute ago and he said there was a side-by-side or UTV that, that went off and he didn't, he didn't make it. He didn't so it. again, it's just one of those things, anytime switchbacks or anytime drop-offs are involved, just pay attention. That's all it really takes is just focusing on the trail. If you do need to look at the view, if you want to take everything in, just come to a complete stop first.
right, you guys, so next up we're doing Ophir Pass over into Telluride again, and then from there we're actually gonna take Last Dollar Road back around to Uri. Yeah, it's it, it's really just a beautiful drive. <laughs> we uh, say that about every single one. I like, know, but like, like this they all are. like there's no obstacles, I don't think, anywhere on here. This is just like kind of a yeah. grip up packed. Both of these trails, of yeah, yeah, both of these trails are very, very easy. But before we get started, or as we get started, uh, I do want to talk a little bit about trail etiquette. Everything out here is gorgeous, and we really, really want to make sure that future generations to come can enjoy these just like we are. And that means taking care of the trails and taking care of the land. The biggest rule out here is staying the trail. Do not deviate off designated trails. They have signage up that makes it very easy to know where you can go and where you can't. But don't go off into the tundra. It's a delicate ecosystem, and that's the type of behavior that will get trails shut down. Yeah, and a lot of this is two-way roads, even though they're super narrow. And we have seen already where, you know, people are going to pass each other, and instead of somebody backing up into a place that's already a been designated a, a designated off. area, they're, like, driving off into the bushes and the trees and on the tundra, making, like, a new pull-off area but destroying the, the, the land. It's the way that that essentially works is if one person pulls off, it creates tire marks, and it's more likely that other people will continue to do the same thing and suddenly you create an illegal bypass or an illegal pull-off or something along those lines. So just stay on the designated trail. And, th and then yesterday we were behind somebody who got stuck and they were got out of their vehicle and they were smoking a cigarette and he just like threw the cigarette on the ground. Still lit. And yes, it's been a lot of rain and stuff here, but could you imagine if every single person on the trail smoked and threw the cigarette butt on the trail? Like why, why would people do, do that? Do not litter. Like, pack out what you pack in. I picked up the cigarette butt. Just be respectful of the area, be respectful of the land, the animals, the locals, just everything. So that none of this gets shut down and people can continue to enjoy it for years and years to come. I don't want to lecture you, but this is just something that's really important for off-roading in general, no matter where you are across the nation. And it's just important to remember whenever you're visiting somewhere outside of your local area. It's just respect. That's all it is. That's all it is. Just being as respectful as possible. About to leave. Already packing, come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited. Like, that's only seven, and there are 
so many. There's dozens. I'm kind of happy because I got a carbon fiber knife. A zero tolerance carbon knife. This thing is sick. Sharp as hell. I'm just going to have Let's put it away while we're driving. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this thing. See? Uh, I just, I like, thank you, baby. My baby got it for me. Full carbon. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I was happy about it. Part of the perks of the whole Yuri Telluride, all of these trails in the area, too, is, of course, hitting up some of the shops. They're really cool. But yeah, it is an absolutely beautiful place. Tintin, highly recommend. It's one of our number one travel destinations in the entire nation. Yeah. Every year I can come back here. It doesn't matter. Get the same trails over and over. Sometimes, they never get old. Sometimes it's sunny, sometimes it's rainy, sometimes it's snowy. It, and it's just always 1,000% beautiful and makes me happy just being here. The views never get old and it's, like I said, it's one of the reasons we keep coming back. Hopefully, if you've never been, this video was enough to encourage you again to visit the area. And if you've been, hopefully it was enough to re-spark that interest to come visit again. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Remember, you can find all your Life Right Nation merch and decals at lightbrightstudios.com. As always, we love you, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.